Hey, it's Blake here, and I make money in lots of different ways. Today, we're going around to Walmarts, Targets, and Dollar Trees, finding items to buy in store, retail items to resell online on eBay, Amazon, or Mercari. It's called Retail Arbitrage. At the first Walmart, none of the NBA Select, no really good uh, sports cards. A lot of these tops... Uh, 2021 complete sets. They're very heavy, not worth much at all. There has to be like some really good players to make those worth reselling, or they have to be very, very old. But you can even still find some complete sets from older years for basically retail price. I looked for the uh, Prestige Blasters. I looked for, uh, these are not Magic the Gathering cards, but I looked at Magic the Gathering cards. I saw these Meta X Green Lantern and uh, Batman cards. Those are from 2017. They still haven't really gone up in value. Behind these complete sets of Topps baseball cards, I saw some Metal Universe NHL cards. I think someone hid them there. I don't know why they hid them there, but they were kind of like behind in the back. I bought these four blaster boxes. I already opened up six of them from Target that I bought online. Uh, they're fun to open. Right now, uh, I think I probably broke even after about a week of selling the singles on eBay. I sold a lot of rookies, sold a lot of inserts. But um, the, the, the sealed cards have not gone up yet. I will list them at like 50 bucks, and I'll probably sell them around Christmas. I, I picked that out. I thought it was special. It's not special. Someone just opened up a retail packaging and, and put it in there. I bought one of these Green Lantern packs. And at the end of the video, we're going to open this pack up because it looks interesting. I checked the clearance aisle. Oftentimes, good good uh, good clearance deals. These are 50 cents Blistex, uh, you know, lip balms, not chapstick, sorry, different brand. Uh, sometimes lip balms like this are worth a lot of money, like 10, 25 bucks around there in that range uh, if they're rare or sought after. These were not. Uh, and a bunch of 50 cent calculators. I'm sure you could sell these for five bucks online and make like a dollar profit, but I have no desire to do that. I think realistically we'll make about 200 bucks total, so like 50 bucks profit probably on those four Metal Universe NHL card blaster boxes, and it'll take until about Christmas to sell those. There's some good rookies last year, so I feel pretty good about having those, even if I don't sell them for 50 bucks in a month. Uh, I can sell them, you know, next year, or I can just have them myself and open them up. At this Target, we have Upper Deck Series 2 NHL cards and some Repack Racing cards. These are uh, Press Pass Premium 2011s and uh, 2021 Donruss Racing cards. Some Penny Sleeves in the 500 pack. There is a small, about 25% uh, margin on those, so you buy them for like six bucks, sell them for like ten or twelve dollars. I have two. I've I've got uh, let's see, about two thousand, so four of those in stock currently. And the uh, the demand has slowed down considerably, so I'm not going to buy any more. I'm also going to pass on those uh, hockey cards because again, there's just a bunch of them in the market. It's kind of flooded. I'm doing some clearance shopping now, so this is not what I thought it was. It isn't the Polaroid printer. It's just a, a camera. Uh, there was a lot of awesome clearance deals, though, so even though this was not what I thought it was, what I found over here was some PS4 games. So Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 5 Deluxe version. I bought these all for 10 bucks a piece. I left every game that wasn't Battlefield 5, either the regular or deluxe version. I've already sold one of the regular versions for 25 bucks on Mercari. It's been like three or four days since I posted the video. And then I have the um, I have the uh, deluxe version selling for about 70 bucks on Amazon. At the second stop, we found 10 regular Battlefield 5 PS4 games at about 750 profit per and two deluxe games at about 45 profit per. So that added together is 165, making our total for the two stops 215. As I've said before, this video was filmed a few days ago and I've already sold one copy of the regular version of Battlefield 5. And so if they don't sell in the next, I don't know, probably three to five weeks they'll definitely sell by christmas we're seeing a lot of the same in this target sports card section the upper deck series 2 that a13 box is an alexi lafreniere specialty collection he was the number one overall draft pick in the last hockey draft nhl draft but his cards are not like overperforming. i guess you might say everything else here is pretty standard these retail box uh, pack boxes are empty and then this Gypsy Queen box right here. I bought one of the packs of, of uh, Gypsy Queen baseball cards just because, you know, why not? It's fun to open cards. I like to buy cards even though I don't watch baseball. It's still cool to like, it's like gambling, you know, gambling, but you make your money back if you want to list all the cards. And I will list all the cards. I walked back to the collectible section. This is back here. A lot of clearance stuff. Could not find anything that was selling for like 15, 25 bucks profit um, on, on eBay or Amazon. And everything that was selling for like a small profit was was pretty expensive. So like I'm not gonna spend 20 bucks to make two dollars, even if it's gonna like happen, you know, in three or four days. 
That's just, I, I think that's a bad use of my money. And so what I would do is I'd find the stuff that has a yellow uh, price sticker or a clearance sticker around there, scan the barcode using eBay seller app or Amazon seller app, and uh, look to see if there's any money there. There were some David Robinson and Carl Malone Funko Pops for six bucks. They sell for about 12, 15 on eBay. Uh, but again, those margins are too thin. The Jerry Seinfeld Funko Pops were, uh, on, according to the price tag, only three dollars. I would have bought those, uh, but I couldn't find any. Only the only ones I saw that may have been in play were David Robinson and Carl Malone, the mailman. That was his nickname. That's why I said that. Over to the Hot Wheels. Kind of cool down here. You get a free car. You spend 20 bucks at Target. You can get a free Hot Wheels car. I thought maybe the Star Wars Hot Wheel cars that you saw above earlier, those like the Mandalorian and other Star Wars things. I thought people love Star Wars. I like Star Wars. Maybe there's some money there. And surprise, there wasn't. The clearance toy section was pretty picked over, but I did find some 70% off Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi. I don't know how to say it. I haven't seen the movie. 70% off action figures right here. They're, it's like $2.99 and $4.49. I bought all of them. Uh, currently, they sell for about retail price online. I'm going to hold out until Christmas. I think I should probably get Eh, probably 20, 25 bucks for those. So we bought seven action figures in total. If they sell for 25, it's gonna be about $13 in cost of goods, fees, and shipping. That gives us $12 profit. Well, we'll, we'll round down to 10. So we're gonna say uh, about 70 bucks profit, bringing our total to 295. Is it possible these sell for way more or a little bit less? Yeah, of course it is. I think there's definitely a lot more potential on that over end on the high end and the low end uh, but I'm just going to use the numbers that I, I feel good about after doing years and years of retail arbitrage I bought some of these for myself uh, to ship cards out in I'm out of top loaders so we'll these will have to do when I sell my singles on eBay and it looks like everything else here is kind of picked over and, and sold out that sucks but this is a very um, there's a lot of people who live around this Walmart. I'm checking down here to see if anybody hid any more cards. Couldn't find any. You know, sometimes you don't, they can't all be dingers. That's a, I think that's a Primus album. Um, anyways, you can't always win. There can't always be great stuff everywhere. So I looked everywhere on the bottom, on the top, couldn't find any cards. A day later, I came back here. I didn't get any video of this, but I came back here and there were Topps Chrome hanger boxes everywhere so just you know if you're doing retail arbitrage remember you have to go uh at least a couple times a week to get an idea for the schedule the next part of the video is a huge coincidence a huge coincidence so keep in mind what i'm doing right here i'm scanning walmart dvds walmart dvds because a lot of times these dvds from walmart sell for a lot of money on amazon i can sell them on amazon you can too if you watch my video it's simple you just get a wholesale invoice from a distributor like aent but that is quite literally a topic from a different video i'm looking at all of the clearance stuff now these instant pots were actually not on clearance they just got moved back here i scanned the price using the walmart app and sure enough they were full retail price there was lacrosse stick down there uh, again, a lot of stuff here was just like 80% of retail price. None of it was discontinued. I saw some uh, Burt's Bees lip balm in a second. I saw some like little filters of sorts, little things that people might need for either, you know, old products that are, uh, you can't find replacements or like you're going to see in a second, these like lip balms right here that people love the, the turmeric in the lip balm again now just nothing here was worth reselling that happens sometimes we got skunked it happens so zero dollars profit there didn't buy anything we're still at 295 but remember those walmart dvds because those just just it's they're gonna come back into play dollar trees usually have like a monthly cycle for replenishing inventory we haven't had any hot wheels replenished here that's what i was looking for some hot wheels like chase cars, like the ID one you saw in a video of mine that I made a few weeks ago. Nothing here. Uh, okay, sorry, I take it back. There were two Hot Wheels cars. Oh, geez, but like nothing that I'm really... Uh-oh, you saw it. I was trying to hold it until the end of the video. Well, okay, sorry, spoiler. There were a, a shit ton of DVDs here, and look at that. That's Masterminds, Oculus. These are DVDs. 
Not that one. There's so first I saw the Blu-rays, but that that was just like a red herring. Is that the right terminology to use? So anyways, there's some Blu-rays here, but there's also a shit ton of Walmart DVDs. Not Harvey, uh, but Walmart DVDs over here on the far left. And what I found out and what I did after I filmed this video is I drove around to every Walmart around my area, every Dollar Tree, I mean not Walmart, in my area, and I found their, uh, their DVDs that were from Walmart. How do I know that? Well, it actually had Walmart stickers on some of the DVDs. I'll show you a picture of one. These were just like liquidated from a Walmart and then whoever supplies Dollar Tree bought them and then I bought all of them. Some of these DVDs sell for like $35 or $45. There's Luther. Uh, if, oh, please, I hope you can. It's right there. You can't even see it, but it's right there. Luther. This was a case where I didn't realize how good of a find this was until I actually bought them. I had no seller service here. I was just buying blind. It's actually going to like warrant its own portion of the video, I think. This is not at all how I plan on the video going, but it's just too crazy not to bring up. So we showed you the Dollar Tree DVDs. We showed you the Walmart DVDs. I did not buy any DVDs at Walmart. I did buy a bunch of DVDs at Dollar Tree, several Dollar Trees. I actually ended up spending all of the day after I filmed this video, so like last Wednesday, going around to all my Dollar Trees, buying all of the DVDs that were worth money and they were ranging from like 15 to 50 bucks on eBay and I'm sorry Amazon eBay was more like 8 to 25 but I sell DVDs at Amazon so I I mean what's gonna happen is is I'm assuming they did like a, a, a nationwide or at least a regional like clearance liquidation Walmart did uh, and so they sold them to whoever sells them to um to uh, Dollar Tree because most of these DVDs were produced in, like, manufactured in 2021. But look at these, right? So I've got two that I pulled out. Everything else has been sent to Amazon. This one right here literally came from a Dollar Tree. That, that That's a um, a Walmart pricing sticker. June 20. So this is from last year. This, however, Walmart Select. This is a, a, a Walmart in Canada. And you can tell it's Canadian because it has the name in French as well on the bottom. Now this is something that doesn't happen all the time. It's like an intermittent thing, but occasionally Dollar Trees will buy liquidation loads. I don't know how else to put it. They'll buy stuff that has been pulled off the shelf from Walmarts or other big box stores and sell it in their store. And that's where the money is. Their uh, Greenbrier standard stuff that's good for a few quick flips, some good replenishables, but like the amount of DVDs I bought, I spent about 600 bucks on DVDs. And you saw my video last year, I think, where I spent over a thousand dollars on dollar store DVDs. Dollar store DVDs, if you plan it right, if you have an opportunity and you seize the opportunity, can be so insanely profitable. I more than doubled my what I made up to this point in the video. I made 379 bucks only on those DVDs that you saw next to my <laughs> bare foot in the video. So that I was at 295 plus 379 that puts me way above $600. Now, here is why I'm kind of hesitant to like commit to that number. Depending on how many Dollar Trees have this same selection of Walmart liquidation DVDs, I'm just going to call them that from here on out, that the price that I'm quoting you might lower. It might. It might not. I, I don't know. This is uncharted territory, so we don't know. Uh, but let's say we lose half of that. A little. Let's say a little less than half. Let's put it at 200 bucks. Let's put it at 205 bucks. Because that makes our total estimated profit $600. Now, was that kind of lucky? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely was kind of lucky. But, like, that's retail arbitrage. That's how it goes. We get skunked at one store. Our first store with those Metal Universe packs. Like, that's... I, arguably, if that happened later in the day, I wouldn't have bought those. But I want... It was the first time of the day... Probably not the best buy. Like compared to the other stuff that I bought, it was the worst buy. But that's that's how it goes. 
That is how owning your own business, being self-employed, making money on your own terms is. It's kind of chaotic and hectic and like spontaneous. Uh, and so if you are planning on doing this, just don't get discouraged if you have a few bad days or it takes you a few months to learn the ropes. It took me a long time to understand like, oh, here's how Dollar Tree gets products. Here's like the clearance schedule for targets. It's not like innate human knowledge. Okay, so I just had to tell you that. We're gonna open up that Green Lantern Meta X pack. I thank you so much for watching, but just like watch me open those cards, comment on what you think the coolest one is. If you like, you know, DC comics, and if you don't like comics, tell me what you think of these Dollar Tree DVDs from Walmart. Now, you think I'm wrong? I am positive that I'm right, but maybe you you know more than me. I would love to hear your interpretation, your uh, perspective on all of this below. So this video is already 20 goddamn minutes long, so let's just speed it up and there's a, there's a fire guy, there's a, another fire guy, there's a, another fire guy, there's a black hole, there's a holographic card, ooh, I like that one, there's a green guy, there's Wonder Woman, there's a ice guy, there's a purple lady. That's, uh, that's the cards. Thanks for watching.